in this first of two videos I wanted to outline the exact steps you need to follow to be able to use your FA06 with your computer DAW via the USB cable. The very first thing you will do is press the menu button. Then you will select the system tab and you will move to general. It's there right now as you can see. Scroll down to where it says USB driver and change it to read the vendor driver it will flash a message saying the modified setting will become effective after you write the system and restart so you merely press right here and then you turn off the FA06 and turn it back on again. Step two is to go on your computer and download from the support section of the Roland website for the FA06 the driver required for your particular operating system. There is a Windows 10 driver, there is a driver for those users using Windows 7 or 8 prior to Windows 10 and there is a driver there for people using a Macintosh or Apple operating system. So on your computer you download and install the USB driver for the FA06 and at the appropriate point in time after the driver is installed you connect the FA06 to the computer using a USB cable making sure that the FA06 is switched on at the time and having done step one and set it for the vendor provided driver once there are no problems, you may go into your DAW and go to the preferences where you select your MIDI and your audio connections. Inside that screen, you should see an FA06 input and output device in the audio page and an input and output device for the FA06 in the MIDI device page. You make those your default choice within your DAW. You are now ready to use your FA06 as either an audio interface or a MIDI interface as your FA06 is an excellent audio MIDI interface and you do not require another one if you are a solo musician. For instance, you can plug in a guitar or microphone into the input jack of your FA06 and record that audio through the audio uh, device in your DAW 
into any channel of your door you like. So that allows you to get external analog signals into your door. Should you desire to play back your compositions in your DAW, you select the output of your DAW to go to the FA06. The FA06 acts as an audio converter to provide the digital to analog function and lo and behold your songs play back through the main output of your FA06 to your sound system. Now concerning the MIDI interfaces, listen carefully. When you play the keyboard, automatically the notes go into your DAW through the MIDI interface at the channel transmit channel to which you have it set and I will show you how to change the transmit channel in a minute. Likewise when you rotate the knobs or press the S1, S2 switches or press the playback, record, fast forward, rewind and stop buttons or even press the pads MIDI messages are generated which will influence software in your DAW. In order to get the results you expect, there are a number of control maps in the FA06 that you can use to set the MIDI parameters that are actuated by those physical controls on your FA06. Let us now proceed to press the DAW control button, which you cannot see here. Let me see if I can brighten it up. The DAW control button is right next to your volume control. So you press that and you come back to your screen. And you see that you have three tabs. Okay. One says DAW. The second says controller and the last one says studio set. In your DAW screen, notice my control map is set to user. And below, I have my pads. And I can assign to my pads whatever I want. I can have a momentary switch or I can have a latching switch and I can control what control number I use. Okay? If you set your control map to one of the pre-assigned choices, let me rotate it and show you, there is Cubase then your pads are assigned automatically with a, uh, a setting that's suitable for Cubase. If you set it to Sonar, then they will be similarly assigned. If you set it to Logic Pro, they will similarly be signed. Or you can set it to Ableton Live. And there is an Ableton Live setting that will give you correct operation with Ableton Live. If your DAW is not included in these choices, then your best bet is, in fact, your only choice is to go to user and set up your pads manually. In any case, you can set up how you want the sync to operate. Whether you are operating your FA06 as the master or the slave, if you operate your FA06 as the master, then you will control your DAW's song, start, stop, and position from the FA06. If you have it as the slave, then what, then what will happen on when you play your DAW, the FA06 will be controlled from 
The sequencer in the FAO6 will be controlled from the uh, controls inside of your of your uh, DAW. Notice when we come down here, we have the operation. In the other screen, we had the operation for setting the pads. And here we have the operation for setting the six knobs and the the six knobs and the two switches S1 and S2 which come right next to the modulation and pitch bend stick. There you see that we can set our transmit channel for the keyboard as well as turn the local switch on and off. What the local switch does it simply couples the keyboard MIDI messages to the onboard sound engines or in the other way it disconnects them so that they no longer when you play the keyboard you no longer hear the internal thing sounding notice it's off and I'm playing the keyboard and not hearing a sound the last one is the studio set. Here you can indicate the channels that you wish to sound within your sound engine of the FA06. The little yellow dot indicates that you have the receive switch active and the channel is 1, 2, 3 and 4 as shown. You can change them to any channels you want and you can turn them on and off. Now, uh, whatever channel you have selected, you can also send a program change message. So even if you select, for example, FA Preview or some other studio set initially, not only can you change your studio set via the master channel but you can also change individual tones on each part via a program change message for that channel number so basically you are operating your FA06 from your DAW like you would operate any other multi timbral sound module I hope this has been helpful. I will make another video shortly to actually demonstrate additional features of controlling your DAW from the FA06, playing back what your DAW wishes to play back on the FA06, recording audio from the FA06 or from an external source plugged into the input jack and playing back your DAW's audio through the converters of the FA06 into your sound system. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon again.